Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. All right, I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you take your seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we're not sunken. Having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes, if that feels good for you. As we take a nice deep breath in, Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternal, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Blowing our palms downward towards the earth on the sides of our bodies. We are using our palms to connect with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, spinal cords are nice and elongated, shoulders flows up towards the ears, feeling that spine lifting. As we interlace our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, heart chakras open, chin is up. As our arms flow slightly towards the back of the room, you'll feel this slight back bend in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms. Now we are in our seated salute with our palms, I'm sorry, in our seated extended mountain. When our palms are together, we are in a seated salute. When we separate the palms, we are in that seated extended mountain. As we twist the body towards the right, Palms come downward towards the earth. We're gonna gaze over that right shoulder. We are in that seated twist, maybe connecting that left hand to that right knee to go deeper in that twist if that feels good for you. Take a nice subtle breaths as we gaze the eyes down. Feeling the spinal cord soothe and decompress. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder. Optioning to connect that right hand to that left knee to go deeper in that twist. Eyes are slightly gazed down, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale the body back to center, coming into that seated star. Flowing into that extended mountain. Palms are above, they are not together. Chin is up, breathe in. Exhale to salute, breathing those palms together. Exhale down heart center, seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Relaxing and soothing the upper parts of our bodies. 
taking a moment to check in with self, noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment without judgment. During our session here today, you may have thoughts and emotions, maybe take notice of what is going on, being kind and loving to oneself. Two more breaths. Exhale, flowing the palms back up above the head, feeling that stretch. We are in that seated, extended mountain. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Slightly leaning the body towards the right, feeling that side bend. Gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good for you, opening up that heart chakra. Tummies are tight. Optioning to lower that right hand downward towards the earth and coming deeper in that side bend. Allowing that left arm to flow over that head. You'll feel this nice deep stretch here in that side body. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated extended mountain. Chin is up, breathe in. Exhale, lean the body towards the left, feeling that side bend on the opposite side of the body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Optioning to lower that left hand downward towards the earth and breathing that right one over that head a little deeper, coming nice and deep here in that side stretch. Three more breaths. Tummy's tight, two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms up in our extended mountain, flowing into our salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center, shoulders relaxes downward away from the ears. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. As we flow our feet into a bow position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. Here in our bow pose, we are working on opening up our hips. So if we ever have a client that has tight hips, we can put them into a bow position. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our body. So these poses look almost identical. We're gonna slightly hinge at the hips if we choose. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it a little more in your inner thighs. Soothing and relaxing and opening up those hip flexors. Allowing the torso to come closer towards the feet if we're able. Listening to your body, doing what feels best for you. And if we choose, we can relax our shoulder blades down and our head downward towards our feet, coming deeper into that forward fold. Allowing the torso to relax, ensuring that we are not overstretching our inner thighs. Optioning to come up if that feels best for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Heart chakras open, our chin is up as we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, coming into a bound cow pose. Tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat, breathing our chin to our clavicle. Tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Three breaths. Exhale back to cow. Low into our cat. Coming back to our bow position, taking our hands to breathe our knees in, strengthening our legs in that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side in front of us, nice and elongated, nice and straight. Spinal cord is nice and long, heart chakras open, chin is up. We are gaze forward, placing our palms on our laps. Here in our staff pose, we're gonna take a moment to simply just notice how the pose feels in our body. Allowing those eyes to flutter down or close the eyes. Going in. 
Two more breaths. Slightly hinging at the hips, that torso comes towards that thigh. Reaching the hands down to the knees or the ankles or the bottom parts of the feet, whatever feels best for you. You'll feel this stretch here behind your legs and your hamstrings. So if we ever have a client that have tight hamstrings, we can put them in a seated forward fold and allow them to just lean the body forward. Half forward fold or complete forward fold as our head melts down to our knees. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. Coming back up to that staff pose as we bring our legs slightly apart, nice and wide legged here. Feeling that stretch, you'll feel us here in your inner thighs. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Backs are nice and elongated, tummies are tucked. We're gonna slightly hinge forward, connecting our hands to our knees or bringing our hands downward towards our feet, lifting those toes up, connecting our hands to our toes. Torsos are slightly up, that back is long here. We will just feel this stretch here in our inner thighs. We are lengthening and stretching here today. Two more breaths. Exhale and back up to our straight back, just bringing the body up nice and long it's here. We're gonna take this right hand to that right toe, feeling that side stretch, allowing that torso to come downward towards that thigh, feeling that body relax and lengthen. If we choose, we can relax this right hand on the earth, back of the hand is on the earth. We can breathe this left arm over the head and just feel that stretch. Or we can bring this left hand to those right toes, coming deeper in that stretch. Whatever feels good for you. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Feeling that body. Noticing what's going on within the body. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we connect our left hands to our left toes, feeling that side stretch on the opposite side. Torso comes downward towards that thigh. You'll feel this here in your inner thigh. Optioning to bring that left hand downward towards the earth with the back of the hand on the earth. As we breathe this right arm over the head, feeling that stretch. We can go deeper if we choose by connecting the right hand to our left toes as our torsos come closer. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our legs inward, coming back into that staff pose. <sighs> Exhaling to half forward fold. As we breathe down to a complete forward fold, if we're able, connecting the hands to the ankles or the feet, head melts down towards the knees. Pointing those toes downward towards the earth, coming into that ballerina's foot, plantar's flex, toes points downwards, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, coming back up to that staff pose. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees, rolling into a tabletop pose. Our knees are hip distance apart here. Palms are flat on the earth. Bodies are relaxed as we drop down to cow. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Your tummies come downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. This here is great for lower back pain. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, tucking that tummy in at the navel, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Feeling like a scared cat on Halloween, that cat's back, two more breaths. Flowing back down to our cow. 
Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we bring our left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch? We are working on balancing here. We're going to pause that left leg up in the air. Now we're working on that gluteus maximus. We are rounding and lifting that buttocks. Feeling that pulse. Two more breaths. Going to find that pause. And if we're able, we're going to extend that right arm forward. So we have the left leg towards the back, right arm forward. We are in that full sunburn. We are balancing. We are, we are strengthening. If we need to, we can lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance. We are still in a sunburn. Or we can keep that leg towards the back. Whatever feels best for you. Gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that right hand back down to the earth. We're going to bend that knee with that left foot coming up into the air. Feeling that pose right here. We're going to pulse that leg up one more time. This is called the tiger pose. We're going to find our pause. We are now in tiger pose. It's a balancing pose. If we choose, we can reach this left hand back to that left toes. And you can feel that stretch here. And we're still in a tiger. It's just a deeper stretch tiger. Yes. Or we can bring the opposite hand to that foot. Whatever feels best with the balance. Or we can simply just hang out here in this tiger and just feel the pose. This tiger pose works the back of the thighs and the gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. You'll feel that burn. Exhaling back to table. We just work that gluteus maximus. We're going to drop down to cow, relaxing that lumbar spine. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale into cat. Chin comes to clavicle. Tummies are tight. Lower back to our table. As we breathe that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we pulse that right leg up, we are working at gluteus maximus, that buttocks opposite side. Lifting and rounding. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause as we extend that left arm forward. So we have the right leg towards the back. Left arm forward. We are in that full sunburn. Balancing and strengthening here. Tummies are tight. Nice and tucked at our navel. Gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, placing that left hand flat on the earth. Both palms are flat on the earth. We're going to bend that right knee. Right foot is up in the air. We're going to pulse that right foot up and down. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. We are in our tiger pose, opposite sides. Feeling that burn here. And that gluteus maximus. And if we choose, we can connect our left hand to our right foot or our right hand to our right foot. Whatever feels best for you. And this stretch here, tiger pose, opposite side. Or we can simply just keep both palms flat on the earth with that leg up. Whatever you choose, we are working at gluteus maximus. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table, feeling that bird. We're going to drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. I'm going to push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs. Feeling that nice deep stretch here. Nice and elongated. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, we are building strength in our arms. We're going to find pulse. Shifting that weight forward. High plank. Tummies are tight. Two breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga. Hovering over the yoga mat. Blowing onto our tummies. Coming into a space pose. Relaxing here on our forearms. 
We are on our tummies. Shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from the torso, away from the ears. So not shrugged. Have a control of their body. You also feel this in your lumbar spine. This is a slight back bend. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling that heartbeat regulates. Feeling the mind and body relax and soothe. As we take a couple moments of silent meditation to go inward. Three breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. Elbows are slightly bent. Baby cobra. This is a little deeper back bend. Straightening those elbows coming into that cobra. This is even deeper. And that bend. Front chakras open, chin is up. Untucking those toes. Exhale, up dog. Taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is up. Breathe, down dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. Right foot, right hand, the runner's lunge. Feeling this stretch here in the body. We're gonna drop that left knee down to the earth, coming into that low lunge. Relaxing that foot, low lunge. We can allow our torso to come towards our thigh, and you'll feel it. This is a, a nice pose to prep the body for splits. So allowing that torso to just flow towards that thigh, and you'll feel that thigh just lengthen and stretch. Exhale, and we're gonna lift that torso away from that thigh now. Breathing our arms in the air, crescent lunge. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling this stretch, three more breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, back into that runner's lunge. We're gonna breathe this right hand inside of that right thigh. Both palms are flat on the earth. Right hand inside the right thigh. Feeling that stretch. We're gonna take this right hand off the earth, twisting that body towards that right thigh. Breathing that right arm up in the air. We are in our revolve twist. Whenever our body's twisted towards our leg, it's called the revolve pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back center, both palms flat on the earth. Exhale down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet left and right. Breathing our left foot to our left hand, runner's lunge. Opposite side, feeling that stretch as we allow our torso to relax towards that thigh. Feeling that split or feeling that split prep. Now it's just allowing that torso to fall over that thigh. You'll feel this split prep in that thigh. Now we're gonna drop that right knee down. We are in that low lunge. Relaxing that foot. Now we're next torso to come over that thigh. Two more breaths. Exhale, lifting that torso away from that thigh. Breathing the palms above our head. Crescent lunge. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing the fingers if that feels good. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. We're gonna breathe this left hand inside of that left thigh. Both palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna lift that left hand off the earth, twisting that body towards that left thigh, breathing that with in the air. Revolve, twist, opposite side. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale, twisting the body forward. Both palms are flat on the earth. Exhale, down the arm. Gazing at the feet. Shifting the weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, back down dog. Gazing at the feet. Slowing down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is in the air. We're going to gaze back at our feet. Dolphin pose. This is a headstand prep pose. Four breaths. Crossing up and down on the tippy toes if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Keeping that buttocks in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, making it an extended puppy pose. Our forehead, our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Now we're no shoulder blades to melt forward. Heart chakra is connected to the earth. Third eye chakra, the forehead is connected to the earth. As we are using this time to go inward, focusing on self. Taking a moment to go inward. Relaxing in silence. Five breaths. Opting to breathe our palms together, flowing into prayer hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Breathing our palms back in front of us, coming into that extended puppy pose. Palms are flat on the earth. Feeling that stretch. As we spine the wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to weigh our buttocks towards our heels. And you'll feel your spine is moving like a snake, just rotating, waving, shall I say. Spinal wave, three more breaths. Allowing your head and neck into the, ro into the rotation to get that full spinal cord flow. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center, coming into our tabletop. Palms are flat on the earth. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Lowing back to our table. Pushing our bodies up to down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax over our thighs. Doing that stretch, this here is a full body stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Allow that head to melt downward towards the earth, shoulder blades. Now downward, feeling this lengthening in your hamstrings behind your legs. Take a nice subtle breath. Mm. Exhale enough to have forward fold, keeping that straight back. Gazing forward, two breaths. Yogi walking the feet slightly apart, creating that stance, that space. Then exhale back down to a complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles. Feeling that nice deep stretch here. Three breaths. Breathing our hands to our elbows, flowing into a rag dial. If that feels good for you, hands to elbows. Optioning to sway or rock the body from side to side. You'll feel it a little deeper behind your legs and your hamstrings. 
feeling the movements, feeling the motions, four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding a pose at center, exhale, half forward fold, fingertips on the earth, back to straight, gaze forward. Feeling that stretch. As we bring our left hand to our right ankle, feeling that cross body stretch. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs like we're doing our thread the needle, and we're gonna gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that cross body spinal twist. Soothing and relaxing, we're also stretching and lengthening here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, half forward fold on our fingertips. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, wrapping this left arm around our backs like we're doing our thread the needle as we gaze over that left shoulder. Cross body stretch, feeling that spinal twist, relaxing and soothing here. Take a nice subtle breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing to a complete forward fold, allowing that head to relax down. Three breaths. Exhale, half forward fold. Breathing to a wide legged tadasana, palms are at our side. As we breathe our feet together, coming into a regular tadasana. Standing nice and tall. We can have our feet together or we can have a nice space. Whatever feels best for you. Here in our tadasana, we are standing tall and firm. Keeping that heart chakra open with that chin up. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. If that feels good as our feet are planted and grounded into the earth. As we are standing firm and standing strong in who we are. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale, release in the breath. Feeling the shoulders relax downward towards the earth. Feeling the fingertips flow downward towards the earth as we release what no longer serves us. Let it flow. Breathe in. Exhale. Low when the palms above the head in that standing salute. Palms are together, chin is up. Breathe in, interlacing those fingers. Exhale, allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back. Chin is open, chin is up, heart chakra is open. You'll feel this slight back bend, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, separating those palms. We are in that standing, extended mountain. Palms are separated, standing, extended mountain. Feeling strong, feeling firm here in our mountain pose. As we lean the body towards the right, standing side bend. Lightly gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good. Exhaling back to center. Leaning the body towards the left side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, if you choose. Exhale and back to center. Breathing palms together in that salute. Exhale a prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders flows downward away from the ears. When we relax our shoulders down, it allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies, our necks, our shoulders. A lot of people have tension in their shoulders. Simply relaxing the shoulders down helps relieve tension. As we keep our palms at heart center, taking a moment to go in, standing firm in who we are, knowing who we are. Five breaths of silence.
two more breaths. Right knee hinge neck to hips, hand forward fold, keeping our palms together. Backs are straight, gaze forward, you'll feel this behind your legs in your behind your legs and your hamstrings. Two more breaths. Exhale, bend the nose, knees, coming into that chair, holes. We can breathe out arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. If that feels good, we are building strength the lower parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms together, back in that chair prayer. As we twist the body towards the right, chair pose twist, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, two breaths. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, standing nice and tall. <sighs> Taking our right foot up, just a little. Crossing that right foot over that leg if we're able. We're gonna balance here. And we're gonna bend down, coming back like we're in that chair. We're working on our eagle pose. We also can cross our arms like we're in our eagle pose. We can be in an eagle pose. We are balancing and strengthening here. We can also hug our bodies, bringing our hands across our bodies and hugging our shoulders and our eagle. Or we can do those eagle hands, eagle arms. Two more breaths of balance. Exhaling out, coming back into that Tadasana. We just really work that left thigh, that left leg. Here in our Tadasana, we're gonna pedal our feet left and right. Just taking a moment to relax and soothe that thigh. This is a counter pose to what we just did. Just pedaling those feet. Catching our breath. Finding calls here in our Tadasana. We're gonna take that left foot off the earth. Now we're gonna work that right thigh. Left foot off the earth. Slightly bending that knee, crossing that left foot over that left, that, um, crossing that left foot over that right leg. Coming into Eagle's hands if we choose. We also can simply just hug our shoulders. Or do those Eagle hands. Strengthening here and balancing. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Eagle pose. Slowly exhaling out back into our Sadasana. Legs are parallel side by side. We're going to pedal our feet. Finding pause, breathing our palms above our heads in our salute. Breathe, breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Palms at heart center. Exhale, hinging at the hips, half forward fold. Breathe down to a complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, breathing our feet together, down dog. Exhale, forward high plank, tummies are tight. Breathe back, down dog. Walking our hands, walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Feeling the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Yogi walking our feet, nice and far apart, nice wide legged forward fold. Feeling that stretch here. Flowing into a rag doll. Connecting our hands to our elbows as we sway our body from side to side. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. 
We're going to breathe to a wide-legged Tadasana. Staying nice and wide-legged. We're going to point our toes to the outer parts of the yoga mat, to the edges of the yoga mat. Coming into cactus hand, bend in the knees, got his stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. We are going to continue to work the lower parts of our bodies here. Feeling that God got his stance as we wrap that body from side to side. Let's work those leg muscles, working those quads, calves, hamstrings, everything. Gluteus maximus. We're gonna find that pause at center. Now we're gonna pulse that body up and down. Feeling those legs get nice and strong. We are toning and firming the lower parts of our bodies. Our tummies, our abdominal muscles are nice and tight. We're gonna find that pause, two breaths. Chin is up. Exhale, standing star. Straightening those legs. Arms come out towards the side. Front chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly gaze in the eyes down. Or closing the eyes if that feels good. Here in our standing star, feeling strong and powerful. Feeling nice and bright. No matter how dark the day or night, we are stars. We will shine, we will be bright, and we will find that path, always, as we are planted, rooted, and grounded in who we are. Four breaths of silence. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, goddess, God stance. Bending those knees, cactus hands. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we flow our arms above our head. Goddess salute, palms together. Chin is up. Exhale, palms at heart center. Goddess prayer. Relaxing those shoulders down. Two breaths. Flowing back to cactus hands. As we rock our body from side to side, working those muscles. Two breaths. Finding our pause that center. We're gonna pulse that body up and down. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Finding that pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. This is a counter stretch to what we just did, allowing this pose to soothe and relax our legs as we take a nice, deep, intentional breath. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how that breath relaxes and soothes and regulates the heartbeat. Four more breaths. Swing or rocking from side to side if that feels good. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. Walking our hands to the front of our yoga mat, breathing our feet together, down dog. Dropping down to our forearms, dolphin pose, buttocks is in the air, gazing back at our feet. Pulsing up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose, wide legged or regular child's pose, allowing that torso to relax between the thighs. Our arms are extended in front of us, making it an extended child's pose. Or we can flow into a prayer hands, child's pose. Whatever child's pose feels good for you, as we take a nice breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward. Heart chakra connects. Third eye chakra, that forehead connects to the earth. Going inward, relaxing, soothing, finding self. Six breaths of silence.
three more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose if you're not already there. Palms are flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose doing three to four spinal waves. Mm. Mm. Decompressing that spine. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, coming into a tabletop, knees or hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth as we drop down to cow, chin is up, tummy slow down towards the earth, feeling this in your lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Exhale to cat, chin comes to clavicle, tummies are tucked. Lower back to cow. Exhale, cats. Come into our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks, and we're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest, if that feels good. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back to the yoga mat. Flowing into a wide legged, bringing those legs out towards the side, just relaxing the body. As we lift our legs up, coming into a happy baby. Feet is up in the air. We can breathe our hands in between our thighs if we choose, connecting our hands to our feet. This here is also a hip opener. We can rock and sway the body from side to side if we are up to it using the earth to relax and soothe and massage, massage that spine. Or we can simply just stay still and relax and soothe and our happy baby, whatever feels best for you. Five natural breaths. Three breaths. Finding pause at center. Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall or invisible wall. If you want to relax and soon, feel free to go up to the wall and place your legs up on the wall and just hang out there. Or if you want to continue to flow, we can point our toes upwards towards the heavens here. Pointing those toes up towards the heavens. We're going to reach our hands down to the backs of our legs. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling those legs back up in the air. As we come into a reclined wide legged split stretch, reclined wide legged stretch, allowing those legs to flow towards the side. Filling this here in your inner thighs. If we choose, we can connect our hands to our toes. Or simply just keep our hands at our legs. Two more breaths. Exhale when breathing those legs together, legs on a wall, pointing those toes upwards towards the heaven. Breathing our knees into our chest. Exhale, allowing those knees to flow towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, left side, knees flow towards the left. Right shoulder flows towards the right. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. You feel, you may feel the spinal cord twist, crack, smooth, and decompress as our right shoulder melts down towards the earth. 
as our knees are flowed towards the left. We are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over that right shoulder. Whatever you choose, our eyes are fluttered downwards. Shoulder blades melted back to the earth and to the yoga mat, allowing the body to soothe and just take a load off. Four breaths of silence. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, knees flow towards the right, left shoulder relaxes and soothes on that yoga mat. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gazed over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal cord twist. Allowing that body to completely relax. Three. Four breaths of silence. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. <sighs> Shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. Knees are towards the chest. As we allow our feet to come flat on the earth, and the knees are up in the air. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are up in the air. We're going to work on that bridge pose. Placing our palms on the earth next to our buttocks. Palms are flat on the earth. We're going to use our feet to lift our pelvic bone off the earth. This is our pelvic tilt. You'll feel your gluteus maximus squeeze and tighten. We are rounding and soothing. We are rounding and tightening that gluteus maximus. In our bridge, we can option to bring our palms underneath our buttocks, interlacing those hands and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. Our torso comes higher in the air. This is just an option to go into that nice deep bridge. And we can pulse that gluteus maximus up and down and you'll feel that gluteus maximus burn as we pulse several times. Or you can simply just pulse it up and squeeze it nice and tight and just round and tighten that gluteus maximus. Whatever you choose, eight natural breaths. We're gonna freestyle. <clears throat> We're gonna freestyle doing whatever we choose here in our bridge. Six more breaths, feeling a burn. Our gluteus maximus muscle is one of our biggest muscles. We can always round, we can always tighten, we can always lift that muscle. And we gotta feel the burn in order to do so. Don't pay no gain. Four more breaths. Three more breaths, squeeze and equity is maximum. Squeeze, squeeze, pulsing it up and down, whatever you choose. Feel on that burn. <sighs> Uninterlacing those fingers. Allowing that buttocks to come downward towards the earth. Breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. This is a counter stretch, relaxing the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Yoga blaze melts into the yoga mat. Breathing the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing the toes towards the heavens, ballerina's foot. Connecting the hands to the lower parts of the legs as we breathe those legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the air. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankle. 
We're gonna do one more pose. Squeezing that tummy muscle nice and tight. We're gonna come on up into a boat pose. Come in the body, bring the body up. Squeezing that, those abdominal muscles. You gotta work those abdominals real quick. Boat pose, feet can be crossed. They can be parallel side by side, or they can be up in the air. Whatever you choose here in this boat, this gonna work those four muscles, abdominal muscles. You can also extend our arms up in the air, coming into that extended boat pose with the arms lifted or by our feet, our legs. Whatever you choose, front chakras open, chin is up, four breaths. Core muscles are tight, three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing those hands in towards our chest. We're gonna pound those hands from side to side. We're gonna work those obliques. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause. Breathing our knees into our chest. Coming into a diamond or butterfly. Bringing our feet together, bell position. Exhale and hinging back to hips, head melts down towards the feet. Relaxing and soothing, three breaths. Mm. Exhale and back up to a seated position. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Crossing our feet, coming into a cow face. Tummies are tight, backs are nice and elongated. Relax the nose feet here in our cow face. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Feeling those shoulders relax downward, away from the ears. As we flow our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch, shoulders flows up towards the ears, nice elongated spine. Interlacing those hands, the fingers, Chin is up, arms flow slightly towards the back. Exhale back to center, separating those palms. Seated extended mountain. Twisting the body towards the right, palms come down, gazing over that right shoulder. Seated twist, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder. Twist opposite side. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Breathe in the palms above the head and that salute. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Palms come heart center, relaxing the shoulders down with away from the ears. Tummy's tight at the navel, spinal cord is nice and elongated. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a real thing to be my time self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in you sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.